Good morning, everyone. Today we'll discuss the difference between pronounced lorry acid and pronounced lorry base. The name pronounced lorry came after the work of the two scientists that were working in two different areas in the world, and both of them came up with the same definition for both of acid and base. Pronounced lorry acid is described as a species that can donate a proton, while pronounced lorry base is a species that can accept a proton. So the pronounced lorry acid, as you can see here, can do needs a proton, and the base will accept the proton. So if an acid reacts with the base, acid will donate its proton to the base. Acid will convert into a negative ion. We call it a conjugate base. While the base will that will accept the proton and the proton is positive, it will convert into a positive ion. We call it conjugate acid. So the idea is the difference between acid and conjugate base is just uh, a, a proton, and the difference between a base and a conjugate acid is also a proton. So we can call the acid and conjugate base conjugate acid-base pair. And also the uh, base and the conjugate acid, we call this pair conjugate acid-base pair. Let's take an example for reaction between ammonia and an acid. So ammonia, it will accept the proton forming NH4 plus ammonium ion. In this way, we describe ammonia as a base. While if you are in acidic solution, so water can accept a proton forming hydronium ion, H3+, plus. also here, water acts as a base. On the other hand, hydrochloric acid, you know it's a strong acid, completely ionized, giving proton and chloride ions. Okay, so here it's an acid because it do need a proton. If a reaction happens between an acid and a base, like ammonia and HCl, so the proton will be donated from the acid and accepted by the base, giving NH4 plus and chloride negative ion. So if an acid reacts with the base, so the base and an acid, they will form NH4 and chloride negative ion. Here, ammonia is the base, while ammonium is considered as a conjugate acid. HCl is the acid which you do need a proton, and Cl minus is the conjugate base. So HCl and Cl are conjugate acid-base pair. Ammonia and ammonium are conjugate acid-base pair. Remember that the difference between uh, the conjugate acid and its, the base, or the acid and the conjugate base is only one proton. Now let's solve this problem. Lime scale calcium carbonate can be removed from water kettles by using vinegar, dilute solution of ethanoic acid. Predict giving reasons the difference between the reaction of the same concentration of hydrochloric acid and ethanoic acid with samples of calcium carbonate. So comparing, you know, ethanoic acid can be considered as a weak acid, so it ionizes incompletely, giving ethanoate ion and a proton, while HCl, which is a strong acid, ionized completely, giving hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So by comparing the rate of reaction, we can say that the HCl reacts faster because it ionized completely, giving a higher proportion of protons.
So it donates more protons or dissociate giving more percentage of uh, hydrogen ions, or you can say it reacts faster than uh, uh, ethanoic acid as it is a uh, strong acid. Also, you should refer to the ethanoic acid in the same way. Question two, dissolved carbon dioxide causes unpolluted rain to have a pH of approximately five, but other dissolved gases can result in much lower pH. State, one environmental effect of acid rain. We can say here that acid rain causes metal corrosion and destruction of plant life. And this would be enough for two marks. Next question. Write an equation to show ammonia act as a pronouncer lorry base and uh, a different equation to show it acts as Lewis base. To show that ammonia act as a pronouncer lorry base, you need just to show that ammonia can accept a proton, giving an ammonium ion. While to show that ammonia act as a Lewis base, first remember what is the Lewis base. Lewis base is a species which has a long pair of electrons, so it can donate an electron pair to an electron pair deficient species. Looking at ammonia molecule, NH3, still has a non-bonding pair of electron, it can donate it to a proto-deficient species, like uh, electron-deficient species like BF3, because it does have a vacant orbital here. So ammonia will donate its electron pair, forming a coordinate bond. Then the molecule formed will be NH3BF3. And in this way, uh, ammonia is described as a Louis base.